Well, hi everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Vicki and I'm so glad to have you here. Today I'm going to share with you my butternut squash soup. Look at how incredible and tasty it looks. Okay, so it's, co used, it's cooked in our amazing deluxe cooking blender. You can use to cook it on the stove in an immersion blender but when you've got something like this, why do that? This makes my life so easy in the kitchen. But I want to show you how I did it. And here it goes. Okay, so for me, one of the ultimate comfort foods is soups. And there's no better way to make soups than our deluxe cooking blender. And I need some butternut squash soup because my mom's just gotten home from the hospital. So I thought I'd make something kind of savory and sweet because butternut's a little both. Um, at least the way I cook it. And I've never really shared my butternut squash soup that I like to make in my cooking blender. So here we are today and I'm going to show you how easy it is. That's kind of divulging a secret because it seems like it's really hard and I've taken a lot of time to do it, but it really isn't. Okay, I'm, Because this is going to cook the vegetables, I don't have to saute them or anything. I'm actually going to put uh, green onions because I happen to like them, but you can use any kind of onions for your soup. And just put them in the blender. And then we put five cups of chicken stock. I'm not sure if, oh gosh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have five cups. So if not, it'll be okay. We'll make do with what I've got. Three. I think we're going to have five cups. Four. Five. Okay. So we've got our onions. We've got our chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock. That's fine. I've made my own vegetable stock before. I usually like to do that, but just didn't have time this morning. Um, I'm putting, this is not in the recipe, but this is something that I've changed over the past years is two cloves of garlic. And I roasted them and they don't like to smash. I don't like to handle them. Now let's just push them. This is a roasted soup. Um, I roast my butternut squash with the olive oil that's on the in the recipe and the pumpkin spice or the I use cinnamon. I use Pampered Chef Cinnamon Plus. It's a seasonal thing, and we have it every year right around this time. And I usually stock up on en enough to have it till next Christmas. And hopefully they have it again next Christmas. Okay, this is our butternut, roasted butternut squash. But I'm not going to put it in right now. First thing I'm going to do is start this. Here's the lid. It won't start unless the lid's on properly. And I'm going to turn it to soup. And turn it on. And we'll be back in just a little bit. So we're at about 160 degrees right now, and I'm going to go ahead and put the butternut squash in. Look at how it's steaming. This is actually cooking in the blender. So this is the butternut squash, and it's about a medium squat butternut squash and I just peeled it and coated it in olive oil and put spices on it and just let it bake on about 325 degrees for about an hour. The roasting changes the flavor of the butternut squash. So, 
and turn it back on and let it keep cooking. We'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and we're up to 185 degrees. And if you look, you can see the vegetables moving. It's actually cooking in the blender. There's a heating element in the lower level and it cooks the vegetables. And um, it's, I love this thing. Makes life so easy. But not only do I make soups in it, I make homemade peanut butter. Y'all, you've seen me make peanut butter. I make that about twice a month. And sauces, my bechamel sauce, if you haven't tried it, go look down under videos and find my bechamel sauce. That is awesome and you need to keep that in your refrigerator because um, you can use it for so many things. Of course, I can mention smoothies. Every good blender makes good smoothies. Um, but this blender even cleans itself. It has a heated wash cycle. So, wow, how cool. I love something that can make my time in the kitchen less and more enjoyable. Um, I actually love being in the kitchen, but cleaning's not my favorite thing. But to make things easy in your kitchen, you only need a few basic things. You need good measuring things. I love our Easy Read measuring cups. You can, you have the measurements right here. You can look inside as you're pouring it and see the measurements. Now these are our stackables. I always know where one is. They just snap apart and so easy to grab. Prep bowls, <laughs> I use prep bowls all the time. It makes things fun. Um, our measuring spoons, we have different kinds. We have the adjustable and we also have the ones that snap together. Of course, these are my favorite. You need a good frying pan, and I actually have two. I have my eight inch that the handle removes from, these are my two favorites. And I have the new Brilliance for making, um, this is a 10 inch frying pan for making the, making omelets and things like that. Now, I have some of everything. So if you wanna see it, just let me know. Uh, we all, you also need some good cutlery. Um, our forged steel knives are absolutely amazing in chef quality. And we also have coated knives, which are a little more affordable, but they're really good knives. Um, and you need a good stock pot and a, new, and a good saucepan. Now for me, what makes things so fun is all the electronics because I'm an electronics girl. Love our air fryer. Our um, electric grill and griddle is awesome. Paninis, you can't make paninis any better than on that or lay it out flat and do pancakes and um, you can do waffles in that as well. You can also do stir fry. On that. And then we have our multi cooker, which I love. It's sous vide. I use it every week. All of my electronics are used all the time and they take up very little space on my kitchen counter. If you see, if you look around, you'll see that there's plenty of room to work in front of them. And last but not least, this is my favorite and I don't touch that glass right now, but the deluxe cooking blender is absolutely my favorite electronics. And if you watch some of the other videos, you'll know. Um, because I do love making it. It's already up to 205 degrees in its cooking and the vegetables and, and um, broth is all moving around and it's bubbling. I wish I could show you a good shot inside. But, can you see the steam? That's how much it's cooking. So I'll come back in just a little bit. So we're at about 225 degrees 
and I'm gonna go ahead and put the last ingredients in because remember the butternut squash soup was already cooked. So we don't have to let it run the whole length. I do want to taste it. See if there's something it needs. It's tasting pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little of our enrichables, super veggie, because I really want this to be hearty for my mom. And then I'm gonna put a tablespoon, another tablespoon of brown sugar. And I usually use Swerve or the Truvia blend. I like it a little sweet. Now I'm going to put another teaspoon of cinnamon plus because I like it a little spicy. And last but not least, the whole cream, I mean the heavy cream. Let's see if that's enough. I don't want to overflow it. We'll come back and show you the finished soup. Okay, it's about to go off. There it went! <laughs> that was the final blend. And we're going to take the lid off. We're going to try it one last time real quickly. See if there's anything else we needed to add. See how it's doing. Man. really good. I don't think we need anything else. Um, I'm going to pour up a bowl. And let me show you what I'm going to do to take it to mom's. I actually want it to get there hot. I'm planning this. So, I'm going to take some hot water. insulated bowl with very hot water to temper it. Just leave it for a minute. That way all the metal gets nice and warm. This will let this bowl hold this heat for a couple of hours. I love these bowls. Okay, and I'm just going to scoop it out in the bowl. I'll cover it and this will actually stay warm for a couple of hours. Now it's fixing to go to mom's and it's almost lunchtime so it won't have to stay warm that long. But I love our insulated bowls for carrying things and for keeping things warm ready and ready for meal time. So we'll take a little out for me so that I can take pictures and show you the finished soup. Look how delicious it looks. Believe me, it tastes better than it looks. All right, y'all. So I hope you make my butternut squash soup. Drop me a comment and let me know. Mine's a little, I made a couple of little changes from the recipe. The recipe was one I started with a while back. I put the garlic in it. And sometimes I add a little bit more sweetener, brown sugar, 
to it. So kind of use your judgment and enjoy making it. Now, as I always tell you, give someone your beautiful smile today. It's actually a gift for yourself because it makes you feel good inside. And you know, you just could make somebody's day. So have a wonderful day. Come back to see me often. Share my videos if you like them. Be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you later. Bye.